of the day. Let us listen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Today we're going to talk about Joseph's brothers and their trip back to Egypt. Last time we talked about them going to Canaan, where their father Jacob is. Today we're going to be talking about their trip back to Egypt to buy more wheat. Do you know what buy means? It is when we give money to get something back for the money. For example, you can buy food at the grocery store, or you can buy drinks there too. We buy things like paper and coloring books and cups. Well, Joseph's brothers were going back to Egypt to buy more wheat. Remember, wheat is a grain that grows in the ground. We pick it like a plant, and we make flour out of it, and make more food from that too. They were traveling a long way today. All the way from Canaan, where their father Jacob is, to Egypt, where the ruler is. Remember, the ruler in Egypt is their brother Joseph, but they didn't know that. They thought he was only the ruler of Egypt, and they wanted to obey or listen to what he told them to do. He had told them last time, "Go get your brother and bring him back with you," and that's exactly what they did. They had their brother with them, Benjamin. They also had all of the gifts that Jacob told them to bring for the ruler in Egypt: honey and almonds and peanuts and perfume. And they had more money to buy the wheat that they needed. When they got to Egypt, Joseph saw that they brought their little brother Benjamin. He was happy that they listened to him, and he said to the head servant of his house, "Take these people to my house. They will be my guests today. Give them lots of food and make sure they are comfortable. They've had a long journey." The servant took all of the brothers to Joseph's home. They entered his home. And they were afraid. They wondered why they had come here. Maybe Joseph was going to blame them for the money they found in their bags. Do you know what blame means? Blame is when you say it is someone's fault for something. They were afraid that Joseph would say it was their fault that they found all of that money in their backpacks. The brothers said. He brought us here because of the money we found in our bags. He wants to get us in trouble or blame us for taking it. But we didn't take the money. We found it in our bags, and we do not know who put it there. We need somebody's help. They tried to find the head servant again. They wanted to ask him what was going on. They finally found him. And they said, "Please, sir, we need some help. Last time we were here, we took all of the wheat that we bought from you. But when we reached our home, we opened our bags and we found all of this money. We have the money with us. We also have more money, so we can buy more food. We ran out of all the all the wheat we bought from you." The servant looked at them. He saw that they were very worried. He said to them, "Please do not be afraid. God put that money in your bags. It is all of your money now." He brought them into the house, and do you know what else he did? He went to the room where their brother Simeon was waiting for them. Remember last time when Joseph told them, "You have to keep Simeon here with me." Well, the head servant went and. Got him for them. They were so happy to see him again. The head servant also 
got them water to wash their feet from the journey and also food for their animals. You know, the animals were very tired from the trip too. They spent all of the time washing their feet and feeding their animals, and then they started taking out all of the gifts that they had brought for Joseph from Canaan. Joseph came in, and he saw all of the gifts that they had for him. They said hello, and they started bowing down to him. Do you know what bowing down means? It is when you bend your body and put your head down and look at the floor. You do that when there's someone that you're really happy to see, someone important, like a ruler or a king. When he saw that they were bowing down or bending down to him, he looked at them and he asked, how is your old father? Is he doing well? They looked at each other. And they said, Our father is very well. He is at home. The ruler wanted to know about their father because he was his father too. Remember, he's Joseph. They just don't know that. When Joseph saw their brother Benjamin, who he loved so much, he said, Is this your younger brother? May the Lord bless you, my child. He was so happy to see Benjamin. He walked over to his room. He closed the door. And he was so excited that he even cried. Sometimes, when we are happy, we cry. Sometimes we cry to show how excited we are. He was so happy to see Benjamin that he cried. He washed his face off, dried it up, and walked back to where all of his brothers were. He said, let the meal begin. They all ate and drank together, and they were so happy with one another. They all got along. They talked about many things and spent a good time together. Next time, we're going to talk about what else happened with Joseph's brothers in Egypt. They were all there with him now, including Benjamin and Simeon. We can't wait to talk to you about that story next time. We'll see you then. Wow, that was such a nice story. Can't wait till next time. <laughs>